Okay, boys and girls, so we are going to be discussing the place value relationships, okay, and we're going to be understanding that the value of each place value position is 10 times the value as the digit to the right and one tenth the value as the digit to its left. So that's going to be our goal today to find out when a number is 10 times the value or if it's one tenth the value, and we will be discussing that. So before we begin, um, let's go ahead and look at our base 10 blocks just as a quick review. Um, okay, so we should have used ba base 10 blocks um, from kinder even up to last year, okay? So let's go ahead and review our models real quick. So that one is your units or your ones. These are your tens or we also refer to them as your rod. And then this is your hundreds, and we refer to them as your flat. Okay, so that, that's just a quick review. Um, so if you guys remember, how many units does it take to make a 10? 10, right? How many tens does it take to make a 100? How many, how many tens does it take to make a 100? Well, we have... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So it takes 10 rods, right? 10 rods to make 100. And how many hundreds does it take to make a thousand? Okay, how many hundreds does it take to make a thousand? Correct, 10, right? So it takes 10. 10 of these, if we stack them up, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and then you have 900 and 1,000, right? And that is 10. So it takes 10 flats to make a 1,000. So if you notice, if I was to do 1 times 10, that equals 2. 10. If I do 10 times 10, that equals to 100. If I do 100 times 10, that equals to 1,000. Correct? Right. So here, as our numbers are increasing, we are multiplying by 10. My numbers are increasing 10 times. So if I do, so I can say that a thousand is 10 times greater than a hundred, 100 is 10 times greater than 10, and 10 is 10 times greater than one. All right, so in our journals, we're gonna go ahead and grab our journals and we're gonna explore this a little bit further. Okay, so let's grab our journals. And if you need to pause the video so you can grab your journals, go ahead and do that. So here is my journal. And on your journals in the front, you should have, um, there should be a strip diagrams here. You should have a fractions page. Then, so what I want you guys to do in your packets, in your packets, you have a sheet that says, um, It has these number words, okay? So I want you to take this one out. And again, you might wanna pause the video and go ahead and cut them out. Or if you can, cut, cut it out to make sure it fits in your notebook and go ahead and glue it in your notebook. So once you finish with that, please make sure that you guys are keeping them in order, okay? So they're going in order. Once you finish gluing those in there, in the back, I want you to go ahead and glue the place value chart, okay? So again, if you need to pause your video, go ahead and do that so that you can glue these in there. So you should have your strip diagrams that you glued with Mr. Bermea. You should have your fractions that you did with Ms. Castillo. And then these are the ones that you're going to do with me, Ms. Guerrero. So again, numbers and words and your place value. Okay, so on the next sheet, on the next page, I want you to go ahead and let's go ahead and draw a place value chart. 
up to the hundred thousands. Okay, we're going to draw a place value chart up to the hundred. Okay, so let's draw our once period first. I'm going to go ahead and use yellow just like in our place value chart. And in our once period, we have our ones, we have our tens, we have our hundreds. And again, this is our once period. Then we have our thousands period and we need a comma to separate. So once tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. And I'm doing it green because that's the way it is on our place value chart. Okay, so we have our once period and then we have our thousands period. I'm going to write this a little bit further up. Um, if you guys are writing, I, well, I prefer that you guys write with a pencil and then later on you can go back or if you have a highlighter, you can highlight that yellow you can highlight the screen but do write with a pencil in case we do make mistakes you can erase okay um so then we're gonna go ahead and explore this so we were talking about multiplying by 10 right so we're gonna go ahead and complete the pattern so that we can explore it a little bit further so here we have our one so if i do one times 10 that equals two 10. If I do 10 times 10, that equals to 100. 100 times 10 equals to 1,000. 1,000 times 10 equals 10,000. So let me extend my lines over here. So again, 1,000 times 10 equals 10,000. And then 10,000 times 10 equals 100,000. So, boys and girls, what do you notice every time that we're multiplying by 10? Multiply by 10, multiply by 10. What do you notice about our, our numbers? What's happening with our numbers? Correct, they're moving up one place value, okay? And every time they move up, you're they're increasing, right? My numbers are, I can say 100 is 10 times greater than 10. Or I can say um, 1,000 is 10 times greater than 100, right? Because 100 times 10 equals 1,000. And every time it's we're multiplying by 10, we're moving up on our place value chart, and it's increasing by a zero, okay? So if you notice, this has one zero, this has two, this one has three, this one has four, and this one has five. So every time I multiply by 10, it's increasing by one zero. I'm moving up one place, okay, one place value. All right, so what would, um, so I can say that, and we're not gonna write them for all, okay, I'm just gonna write them for, I'm just gonna write a few examples. So we can say that 100,000 is 10 times greater than 10,000, okay? Because 10,000 times 10 equals 100,000. And then I can do the same thing. I can say 10,000 
is 10 times greater than 1,000. 1,000 is 10 times greater than 100. And we can keep writing them. Okay, so using the using this example, let's try. Let's fill this one in by our, Let's fill this one in. Let's start with. Let's see. One thousand is what? Ten times greater. Then, so a thousand is ten times great, ten times greater than what, boys and girls? Correct, one hundred. A thousand is ten times greater than one hundred. Why? Because one hundred times ten equals one thousand. So if I go 100 times 10, so I'm multiplying by 10, so I'm going to move up. 100 times 10 equals 1,000. Okay, guys, so now we're going to explore... One tenth of a number, okay? So here we multiply by 10 and our number increased, right, by 10 times. So now we're going to explore our numbers decreasing 10 times, okay, or the value being 10 times less. So if this is 10 times greater, where, and we were moving up on our place value chart, what do you think is going to happen with our numbers when we're doing 10 times less? Correct, we're going to move back, right? We're gonna move back on our number line, on our place value chart. We're gonna move back on our place value chart. And instead of multiplying by nine, we're going to, I mean, multiplying by 10, we're going to divide by 10. So this, so when we move back, we are dividing by 10. And we say that our number is one tenth the value one-tenth the value. So again, let me show you why. Okay, so when we're doing one-tenth of a number, we are dividing by 10 and we're moving back. So instead of adding a zero, we are taking away zeros, okay? So here's one ten. How many ones does it take to make a 10? 10. So if I am considering one piece of this 10, it is one tenth of a 10. So I can say that one is one tenth of a 10. Again, why? Because it takes 10 ones to make one 10. So let's explore 100. So how many tens does it take to make 100? 10, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if I'm considering 1 tenth, 1 10, okay, 10 is 1 tenth out of 100 because it takes 10 parts to make a 100. So if I'm only considering 1, that's 10 is 1 tenth of 100. Okay, so go ahead and make a line here because now we're going to do a few examples on dividing by 10. Let's go ahead and write. So if I'm looking at the number one, okay, here's my number one. So one is 1 tenth of what number? And we just did that with our rods, right? Here I have a 10, and I said I, if I take out 1, this is 1 tenth of 10, because it's only one piece out of 10. So right here I'm going to put 1 is 1 tenth. Another way to represent that is 
1 out of 10. Okay, so you can either write it 1 tenth or 1 out of 10. So 1 is 1 tenth of 10. Because it takes 10 ones to make 110, and if I remove one piece, one piece is one tenth of a ten. Okay, so and if you notice this, you have if I'm on my ten and I'm going back, I'm taking away this zero and now I have just a one. Okay, so one is one tenth of ten. Now let's look at the number 10. Look at your place value chart, 10. Okay, so 10 is one tenth of what number? 10 is one tenth of what number? Of 100, right? So 10 is one tenth of 100. Why? Because it takes 10 tens, it takes 10 of these, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It takes 10 of these, it takes 10 tens to make 100. It takes 10 tenths to make 100. So 10 is 1 tenth of 100. Good. So what if I tell you 100, I mean 10,000? So 10,000, that's right, 10,000 is 1 tenth of so is one ten thousand is one tenth of what? So here's ten thousand, and I already divided by ten. So what did I have to divide by ten to get ten thousand? One hundred thousand. So if I'm at one hundred thousand, if I divide by ten, I'm going to move back one. So ten thousand is one tenth of one hundred thousand. Because if again, if I'm at one hundred thousand. If I divide by 10, I'm moving back one place. My, val my number is now 10,000. So when I'm dividing by 10, I'm removing a zero, but what I'm really doing is I'm moving back on my place value chart. I'm dividing by 10, so that's why you move back. Now we're going to go ahead and do a few um, examples together. And if there are any questions, um, please ask, raise your hand, and I will um, explain. Okay, now pause your video. And you will need place value 1A, page 1. And if you'd like to, you can get a yellow highlighter and a green highlighter and blue or crayons yellow blue and green okay so let's review our periods so if you guys remember that every period has three digits so every period has three digits so here you have your ones place your tens place and your hundreds place and that is your ones period. So let me go ahead and write that in here. That's your ones period. So let's go ahead and write that on the top. And I'm going to do it with yellow just because um, in our copies we have yellow as our ones period. So this is your ones period. I'll do it. Ones period. And then, so that's three digits. Ones, tens, hundreds. That's your ones period. Then we have another period, and that is our thousands period. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand. This is your hundreds 
I mean your thousands period. Sorry about that. That we have your thousands period. That's your thousands. Your ones period, your thousands period, and then after your thousands period, you have your millions period. For now, we're only going to talk about one million, but this is your millions period. That one is in blue. And in between every period, boys and girls, you have a comma. A comma separates your periods. So you have ones, tens, hundred, comma, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, comma. Then you have your million, and then your pattern continues, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. But for now, we're only going to go up to one million. So again, you say the name of the period once you um, say the three digits. So we'll practice that. All right, so... Make sure you have something to write with, and don't worry about this cut um, about the color coding. You can do that later on your own. Um, so let's start with our standard form. Okay. So remember that whenever you have a number, you want to place it. For now, as we're practicing, okay, we're going to place our number in our place value chart. So let's go ahead and write the four. And if you look at this, this is your ones, tens, hundreds. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and then that's your 1 million. So we're going to put the 4 in the millions place. And then, so this you would read it 4, and then I'm going to circle the comma because that tells me that I'm going to say the name of the period. So because the 4 is in the millions place, I'm going to read it 4 million. Now let's read the next three digits. They are 8, 3, and 9. How do I read that right there? How do I read that right there? I read it 839. So all you do is you read those three digits and then you have your comma. And the comma tells you the name of the period. So, so this one is 839 and this is the thousands period. So you say 4,839,000. Thousand, and then what's our last three digits? 980. And how do I read that? 980. So now we're going to write it in word form. So we're going to do, we're going to write the number four, the word four. And I'm going to underline it just like I did in my number, just so that I remember how to read it. It's just four. Then the four is in the millions place. Four in the millions place, so I'm going to put four million. And I'm going to circle the name of the period. So that's four million. Now I'm going to write that number. How do I say that? 839. Eight. Hundred thirty nine. So eight hundred thirty nine. Then I have a comma, right? So eight hundred thirty nine. What? Eight hundred thirty nine. It's in the thousands. So now I write thousands. Eight hundred thirty nine thousand. And I'm going to circle that. Okay, so I have 4,839,000. Now I'm going to write the last, my last period, 980. And there you go. Now, expanded notation. When we're writing expanded notation, expanded notation is giving me the value of, nope, not giving me the value. Okay, so right here, expanded notation. So let's write our four. Our four is in our millions place, right? So I'm gonna put four groups of 
one million. One, comma, and in the millions place you have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. So I have four groups of one million plus eight is in my hundred thousands place. So I have eight groups of, remember that the multiplication sign means groups of. So eight groups of 100,000. So I'm gonna write 100,000, so I, then I need my three zeros. Plus three is in my 10 thousands place. So I'm gonna put three groups of 10,000. 10,000, I put my comma and then three zeros plus nine groups of, where's my nine? In the thousands place. So nine groups of 1,000 plus nine groups of 100 plus eight groups of 10. So eight times 10. And then we have zero groups of ones, so I'm not gonna put that in there. So that is your expanded notation. Then the value of the nine in the thousands place is blank, the value of the nine in the blank place. So here you're gonna make sure, we're gonna use our place value chart over here. So let's look at the value of the nine. We're looking at the nine in the thousands place. So go to your nine in the thousands place and then let's write it up here. Nine in the thousands place is 9,000. So I'm gonna write my 9,000 down here. And then they want the value of the nine in the blank place. So if you look at your numbers, boys and girls, where do I have another nine? Right here, right? In my hundreds place. So underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and write the number 900. So they're comparing the number 9,000 to 900. So down here, 900, and what place is the nine in? The hundreds place. So we're gonna write the word hundreds up here. So the value of the nine, so I'm gonna read it. The value of 9,000 is, is it greater or less than 900? It's greater, right? So up here, is it, what would, how much greater is it? Well, we know that it is 10 times greater. So 9,000 is 10 times greater than 900. All right, let's go ahead and do letter B. Again, we're going to underline circle, underline circle. We underline our number, circle, the periods, okay? So, or it tells us the name of the period. So here we have a five. And where's the five in? Ones, tens, hundreds, comma, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand, comma, million. So five is in the millions place. So we're gonna put the five in the million. Then we have nine zero seven. And we have another comma right here, right? So that's in the thousands period. And then 883. And we can underline that again. So this number, we would read it as 5 million. And then we read these three digits. How do I read those three digits? 907. Then I have a comma. 907 what? 1,000, 907,000. And then let's read our last three digits, 883. Now we're gonna write it in word form. So let's write five, underline it. What's the name of the period? Million. Circle that. So it's five million. How do I read my next three digits? 907, so you write 907.
underline it. What period is it in? The thousands period. So then you write the name of the period. 5,907,000, so let's circle our thousand, comma. And then our last period is 883. 883. Now, our expanded notation. Okay, we're going to look at our five. My five is in the millions place, so I have five groups of one million. So five times one million plus nine times or groups of, what place is it in? 100,000. So nine groups of 100,000 plus we have our seven. We have zero ten thousand, so I'm not going to write that. I'm going to skip over to my seven. Seven groups of one thousand. Plus eight groups of one hundred. Eight times one hundred. Plus eight times. 10, and then our last one, plus 3 times 0. That is your expanded notation. Now, the next one is, it's either going to be 10 times greater or 1 tenth up, right? So the value of the 8, so it says the value of the 8 in the tens place. So here's the 8 in the tens place. So what's the value of the 8? Correct, 80. So the value of the 8, which is 80, in the tens place is blank the value of the place to its left. So what is to the left of the 8? Well, 800. So I'm going to write 800 underneath, 800. So we know that this number over here is going to be 800. So is it... Is 80 greater or less than 800? It's less, right? So if 80 is less, we say that the value of the 8, which is 80, in the tenth place is 1 tenth. Actually, I think I want you to write the word 1 tenth, the value of the 800 of the value of the place to its left, which is your 800. All right, so then let's go ahead and practice C. Okay, so now you will work on place value 2B, page 1 and page 2, numbers 1 through 4. And if you have any questions, um, please ask. We are here to help.